In this fun problem, we should find the area and the side length of this square. And our goal here is to do this without using a ruler or any advanced theorem. We're just going to find the area of this square right here, subtract out the area of these triangles. You can see them one. If I add this triangle, this triangle, and those areas, I get one rectangle. You can always picture it, and I'll, I'll show you that in a moment. And then if I add the areas of this triangle and, and this triangle over here, I get another rectangle. So our strategy is going to be to find the area of the entire rectangle, so the rectangle, and then subtract the area of the small triangle. So the area of the rectangle minus the area of the four triangles. Okay, now this rectangle may in fact be a square, I just haven't counted yet, but let's count how long this rectangle really is. So to do that, uh, we're going to use the dots they give us. And in fact, I think I'm going to go think it's going to be hard to count now that I wrote over it, but I can still see it. Uh, anyway, so we're counting the distance between the dots. Don't count, don't count the dots themselves, you'll overcount just the distance between. So how long is this side length right here? Well, here we have one hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine units. We don't know what kind of units. Here, let's make sure this is a square. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's also nine units. So this area of this rectangle or square is nine squared, or 9 times 9, which is going to be 81. Now let's find the area of the four triangles. So how long are these triangles? Well, let's start with the green ones here. 1, 2, 3. This is 3 units. And this here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units. I know it's hard to see. I'm writing all over it is 6. Now this one's also 3 by 6. And if we just sketch out a, a rectangle for a moment, if you have two triangles that are 3 by 6, right, 3 by 6, and then we draw the diagonal here, you can see that the two triangles, another one 3 by 6, form a perfect rectangle. <coughs> so really, imagine if I add these two triangles to make one large rectangle, that's 3 by 6. That would mean the area of these two triangles together is equal to 3 times 6 just as the area of this rectangle is equal to 3 times 6, and that's 18. Well, we also have to deal with these other two triangles. Fortunately, they're also 3 by 6, and that makes sense because we have a square here, right? This is also 3 by 6. So if we add these two, one, two triangles together, we also get a rectangle. And these one, two triangles also combine to make a rectangle. That's 3 by 6. So to find the area of that rectangle, we add it to the other area of the other rectangle. That's also 18. So altogether, let me get rid of this 6, it's confusing. Altogether, we have two rectangles, each with an area of 18. So altogether, we add them up to find out what we're subtracting. So we have 81 minus 36, which means the area of the square in the middle, right here, is 36 excuse me, is 81 minus 36, which is what? Well, 81 minus 30 is 51, minus 6 more is 45. So the area of the square is equal to 45. What about the side length? Well, the side length of any square is always equal to the square root of the area. So the side lengths in this case are equal to the square root of 45. We can't figure out exactly what that is, but we can say it's between what? Well, well, 8 squared is 64. Okay, that's too large. 7 squared is 49. Still too large. 6 squared is 36. That's too small. So we know that the square root is between 7 and 6. So the side length is between 7 and 6 units long although we don't know the exact value. All right, hope this